Good afternoon. My name is Donovan Carter. I'm here with the Samuel Proctor Oral History Program here in Washington, D.C. today. And uh, today, actually, is August 28th, 2021. I'm here with... Dania Adair. Okay. Um, and Dania, who are you... Uh, actually, tell me about why you're here today. Um, I'm here in honor of my stepdad, Pat West. He was shot by um, police in Grays Harbor County, Washington on April 16th, 2019 and he died the next morning. Um, he was having a mental health crisis and my mom called for uh, mental health professionals to do a wellness check and then they called the cops and then they called their friends and 31 officers responded to that call, um, escalated the situation until it was lethal. Um, so I'm just here with these families um, in solidarity and support yeah. Thank you, Dania. Um, do you know more about the, the day of your stepfather's death? Yeah, um, I wasn't there. I came by the next morning. I, I moved from Minnesota to be with my mom. Um, but during that day, my mom has multiple sclerosis, and so she was having a relapse in her symptoms. Um, so she wanted to get Pat help because he was in a depressive episode of his bipolar. Um, so that's why she called the mental health professionals. Um, but he told them that he didn't want to talk to anybody. Because uh, when you're depressed, you don't want to talk to anybody. But they took that as they needed backup. So the police came and he told them the same thing. He didn't want to talk, but they escalated the situation thinking he was suicidal and he wasn't. Um, and throughout the afternoon, um, one of the officers said that Pat assaulted an officer. So a, a tactical unit came and that's where the additional armored vehicle and um, like SWAT-esque team came by. Um, and try to like mediate with him and like it it was just completely unnecessary none of it was needed um, but because he wouldn't leave his own house they thought it was appropriate to um, breach our security fence and break down our basement door to get to him um, and allegedly he threw a piece of steel because he was a mechanic. He was in his basement, like, workshop. Allegedly, he threw a piece of steel at them, and that's when an officer shot him. Um, and that, that's the bulk of it. That's what my mom, mom told me. What do, you wanna, what do you want people to know about Pat? Just I didn't get to know him very well because I lived in Minnesota, but I knew that he was goofy because his full name is Patrick Easton West, so it's like a pun. And my mom's name is Amanda Lynn West, like the instrument. Um, so they both had goofy names. They both made each other laugh a lot. And he made her the happiest I'd ever seen her. Um, so when she moved out to Washington and met her, I knew that she was in good hands, even though she was so far away. Um, and his family is just the sweetest. Um, his mom and dad and his siblings, all of his nieces and nephews, they've been nothing but welcoming to my mom and I um, after they got married. And he was just like a really helpful guy. Everybody misses him so much <laughs> and they don't know why it had to end like this. Um, but, yeah. No, yeah. Thank you, Dania. Is there anything else you want to say? No, I, d I don't know. I don't have a script or anything, so I think that's, that's it. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah.